Hey guys, Francis here with The Brim Factor and in today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to open a Payoneer account, a fully functional Payoneer account without all the hassle of verification and all that stuff. So I'm going to give you that guide. But before we get into it, if you're just seeing me for the first time, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel because we put out content around making money online and investment and all that type of stuff from time to time. Let's get into it. So you guys know already that Payoneer is like one of the biggest rivals of PayPal, which is like the biggest globally. So if you are from a country like Nigeria, like I am, and um, PayPal is not fully functional in your country, the next best thing you can do for yourself is get a Payoneer account. And I think in, in, in a lot of ways, Payoneer um, actually gives you a lot of flexibility. Of course, there's a lot of in inclusiveness because they cater for a broader audience and you can get um, bank accounts, international bank accounts that you can send out to your clients um, all over the world and they pay directly into your account. That is something you cannot get from PayPal. PayPal will expect you to link your bank account that you open from a real bank and to your to your paypal so that you can receive your funds or withdraw your funds from um, paypal to those accounts Payoneer is a lot more flexible and it, it's also accepted in a lot of marketplaces and freelance platforms the list just goes on the reason why even if you have a, even if you're from a country like um, the us or the uk where or any country where paypal is actually um, um, fully functional you will still find yourself needing a service like Payoneer. i think i've, I've made a good case for Payoneer so far and i'm not going to waste your time in this video i'm going to try to speed through it i try not to waste your time as much as i can so um, let's get into it now we are on payoneer.com and if you use our payoneer affiliate link that will be the first one in the description you are going to have this page instead of the one that you saw previously and you can see that you can earn 25 dollars upon sign up so consider using the affiliate link so once we click on register you're going to see five options to select from like um, tell payoneer who you are so are you a freelancer or smb are you an online seller, affiliate marketer, vacation rental host, or an individual. And anything you pick from these five options will largely um, determine how your um, Payoneer account is going to behave um, going forward. If you say you are an affiliate marketer, for instance, and tools and things that will be specific for affiliate marketers is going to be made available to you, as opposed to if you said you are an online seller or a vacation rental host and, and, and on. So, but the general rule of thumb is to select the freelance Lancer or SMB option and um, affiliate marketer because this is what most people will want to do. For instance, let's go with affiliate marketer and you see what I mean. Here you can see that it says get paid by publishers, networks, and platforms, and then promote Payoneer and earn commission. You see that's like more affiliate marketer um, related. But if we go back and let's say we take another option, you can see here it says get paid by vacation rental sites and private renters. So you can see everything has sort of like a specific um, thing for them get paid by international clients or marketplaces send and receive money between friends and family order a prepaid card this is for an individual so freelancer or smb is get paid by international clients and freelance freelance marketplaces so i think this is the best one for pretty much anybody um, this is the one I, I like to use to open my personal account and and for clients or anybody that, that, that asks for my advice on which one to go and it's easier for you to also um, verify your account and just go through this whole process without any hiccups so let's go on and select that option and click on register so now we see that um, the sign up process is going to take us through um, four um, stages getting started contact details security details and then we are done so um, first things first we're going to select what type of business we are and I will say individual there because I expect that a lot of you guys will probably not have uh, businesses that have been registered so we will go with the individual option and then the, f the rest of the form is pretty basic you're going to um, provide your first name last name email address and date of birth let me quickly fill those in so now that I fill that in I click on next and we are going to fill in our contact details so I will quickly fill that in and we move on so after filling in your address and providing your phone number you want to click on send code and a code will be sent to your phone number that you have to enter in 30 seconds before it expires so you have to provide this code before 30 seconds is over so that you can move on to the next step now we are on the security details and we have to enter our email address and our password and then um, a means of identification and then we will be done so now you can see we have entered in our email our password um, a security question and the answer to the question and then provided our um, means of identification 
and the number for that and then the, the code so once we click on next we are going to get to the final stage where we select our type of account a personal account or business account so we're going to go with business account uh, sorry personal account if you if you select the business account it's more um, um, details that you have to provide they, they tell you here that you can only add a company bank account that belongs to you so um, with the business account there's more uh, expectations there's more that you have to do even with the verification process as well you can't use personal documents and all so but we are just going to select the personal account so that the verification process will be easier and actually here all we need to do is provide our bank account details and we can be done with this process so now that all of that information has been filled in i will click on submit and congratulations your account has been created but read this carefully your pioneer account application has been submitted successfully and is now being reviewed so uh, if you want a card a pioneer card you can order one um, but for now you're now in in step two of the application process which is um, you will receive an email confirmation within the next several days and then from there you can um, start to finish setting up your account but basically once you've done this your account has been um, set up and nine times out of ten you will not have any problems so you can see here um, I just got an email we are reviewing your application and it will take up to three days for this um, to be approved we will send an email and you can start receiving payments but meanwhile you can learn about yeah all of that stuff so there guys that's how you create a pioneer account and also you're going to get an email like this for you to verify your um, pioneer account so all you need to do is click the giant red verify my email um, button and that's it your email has been verified but that's not to say that your account has been verified. Like they said, that's going to take about three days. And, but usually it doesn't even take up to three days. In some cases, it can be 24 hours. It can be two days, but not more than three days. So after three days, I'm going to come back and show you guys how things are looking. So guys, as you can see, the account is up and running. It did not even take up to three days. Like they said, it was just about 24 hours. And now the account is fully functional, fully verified, up and running. I can um, get paid, I can pay, I can do anything that I want to do. Banking cards, I can request a card, a Pioneer card if I wanted to. Um, you can see this is a Pioneer card, this is for receiving accounts. So you can see I've added a bank account, I can add other bank accounts. But um, note that this account is too young to do something like requesting a Community Federal Savings Bank account, the one that you can use to link to your pay your PayPal account to do withdrawals from PayPal to Pioneer, like I showed in one of the videos, which I'm also going to leave in the description of this video if you want to check that out. So you need to receive at least five thousand dollars in your account to you know, do transactions back and forth of up to five thousand dollars before you can um, co qualify to get a an additional united states um, um, bank account on top of your payoneer account so um just wanted to give that side note and yeah that's how you do it thank you guys for watching don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in the next one take care